in my previous uh, video i um, discussed about the cancer the general cause of cancer and uh, what is the uh, main um, uh, reason of cancer and what is cancer and uh, worldwide what is the scenario of the cancer now it now it is so uh, from uh, taking the link from the previous video i i am going to start my uh, today's topic discussion about also cancer the types symptoms and the uh, causes of cancer now uh, in my previous video i discussed what is cancer cancer is a genetic disorder or disease uh, which can be caused by the genetic mutation and uh, due to the uh, uncontrolled proliferation of cell uncontrolled growth of cell uh, forming the tumor and um, uh, this is the main ca cancer and uh, um, the generally i have uh, uh, in my previous video i also discussed the different types of cancer generally the um, uh, uh, prostate uh, prostate cancer thyroid cancer and testicle cancer are um, uh, more or less curable and the most dangerous cancer is the pancreatic cancer and pancreatic cancer brain cancer and esophageal cancer liver cancer breast cancer are very fast growing cancer and among these cancer pancreatic cancer are the most dangerous cancer there is a least survival chance from this cancer pancreatic cancer what i am telling that uh, uh, in last on last 8th december uh, one famous uh, bollywood uh, comedian actor uh, popularly known as junior mehmood uh, was died of um, uh, stomach cancer actually what cancer does with us actually cancer uh, uh, cuts cuts uh, short uh, our lifespan uh, and at the only the junior mehmood was tired at the only age of 67 uh, most probably he was not supposed to uh, die at this stage but um, unfortunately the cancer attacks him and he uh, um, he has been um, has been uh, fighting with this uh, disease consistently and uh, when he was reaching at the fourth stage he cannot survive so this is the main thing cancer will cause our premature death when we are not supposed to uh, die that time cancer will take our life and another thing is the so many pains and so many anxiety in this disease uh, um, we have seen and uh, more or less the a, a big economical loss to the whole world whole worldwide government and the personal wise the economical loss incurred on us so we should be very careful about that so today i am going to discuss about the different uh, categories of cancer generally 100 uh, clinically distinct types of cancer found among them they are classified into four major um, ma four major categories i am going to discuss about that so major categories of cancer major categories of, there are four major categories of cancer first one is the leukemias What is leukemias? Leukemias, um, leukemias um, are the abnormal growth of leukocyte white blood cells uh, which are produced from bone marrow. Uh, this is called leukemias and leukemia people, this is also popularly known as blood cancer and leukemia, leukemia people are generally died of uh, different types of infection viral infection bacterial infection and fun fungal infection also because frequent and severe 
uh, infection will be happen uh, in in this type of uh, patient uh, leukemia people and uh, second one is the lymphoma lymphomas lymphomas it is also one type of blood cancer it is the abnormal growth of um, abnormal growth of uh, lymphocytes one type of leukocytes um, uh, produced by spleen and lymph nodes and third one is the sar sarcomas sarcomas means the um, solid tumor formed from derivatives of embryonal uh, mesoderm uh, like um, connective tissue, cartilage, bone, muscle and fat. This is called sarcomas. And fourth one, last one is the carcinomas. Carcinoma means solid tumor formed from, uh, formed from epithelial tissues. It is the most common type of cancer happening. Any breast cancer, liver cancer, uh, prostate cancer, uh, uh, liver, uh, kidney cancer, lung cancer, all are um, uh, categorized under this uh, um, category carcinomas and it is the most common type of cancer, form of cancer. The uh, epithelial tissues are the uh, internal and external body surface coverings uh, um, uh, thus uh, include the breast, um, gland, skin, nerves etc and the linings of respiratory respiratory uh, respiratory and uh, um, gastrointestinal and urine um, and urinal and genital genital system it is the lining so these are the main major four categories of cancer now i am going to discuss about the now I have told that the cancer is caused by the mutation in the gene. So how the mutation can be formed? One time is that one strand can be broken in the case of mutation in the cancer. One DNA strand can be broken and another is the covalently chemical, chemically, chemical covalently DNA adapts means the DNA strand will, the nucleotide will um, pair with some drug, carcinogen protein drug uh, like safrol, benzylium pyrimidal epoxide and acid aldehyde. This type of, they will link with this drug, pair with this drug. And another thing is the, another cause is the DNA damage is the DNA oxidative damage lessens of dna oxidative dna means like guanine we know that guanine will pair with uh, thymine by uh, three uh, hydrogen bonds but when the guanine will be oxidated to uh, oxidated to eight hydroxy um, guanine or other derivatives they will pair with the adenine which will not which will not be supposed to happen but it is happened in this case so these are the and another thing is the dna dna and dna protein cross links these are the causes of damage in the dna and cause the mutation in the particular oncogene or gene which will cause the cancer now i am going to discuss about the uh, now i am going to discuss about the uh, um, Categories, major categories of cancer I have discussed. Now I will discuss about the uh, major um, uh, characteristic of cancer. Major characteristic of cancer. Three major characteristic of cancer is generally happen. One is the first one is the uh, hyperplasia hyperplasia 
what is the meaning of the hyperplasia hyperplasia is the mean uh, hyperplasia means the uh, uncontrolled proliferation of cell this is called hyperplasia second characteristic is the anaplasia what is the meaning of anaplasia anaplasia is the cell abnormalities is called anaplasia which, which will ultimately cause the uh, cell has lost their uh, functions and reduction in their function which will cause also cancer anaplasia and third one is the metastasis metastasis what is the met meaning of the metastasis the meaning of the metastasis is to the malignant cell will detach itself from the tumor and uh, establish a, a new tumor at another site within the host this is called metastasis means tumor will be spread uh, through your body whole body this is called metastasis in this uh, metastasis case one thing i want to uh, uh, tell about that that the when your uh, the cancer will be originated in a at the some place of breast and uh, the, the, uh, it will be spread to the your lungs so what happened the breast uh, tumors the cells from the base cancer cells from the base will establish a, another tumor at lungs but the lungs there the at the the cell at the lungs um, are not of the uh, lung cell it will actually breast cell because where it is originated this is this will affect ultimately um, so final uh, where, where, wherever it will go in the um, uh, in your within your um, uh, body it will the where it will be originated actually the cell of that um, organ will be there means breast cell so it is very important the to know the uh, origin point of cancer where it was started uh, so it will be very helpful to uh, for the treatment of the cancer and uh, now i am uh, telling uh, i already discussed about the uh, some risk factors of cancer and its causes of cancer again i am discussing it the risk factors of cancer because it is very important we should be aware of that risk factors of cancer first risk factor is the aging aging means age old age it, it is has been observed that cancer has been um, happened or occurred in old age people mainly means the about the age 60 65 years age the cancer will be happened like this type of people uh, why because the, that time the at the old age our cell will not be active very and uh, it is prone to some mutation and another thing is cancer is always take time to uh, grow so uh, ultimately at the old age the cancer will grow and we, we can identify it and you can diagnose it so this is the one thing we have to be careful at the old age and second one is the using tobacco it is very risk factor it is very uh, potent car carcinogen smoking or chewing of any tobacco will cause the mutation in the gene and ultimately cause the cancer mouth cancer uh, throat cancer uh, uh, esophageal cancer lung cancer will be happened from this source type of smoking and third one is the uh, uh, a uh, personal or family history of cancer when cancer happened in the at the young age the, the, this is the possibility of they can inherit the cancer uh, cancer gene from their biological parents so the 
personal or family history is important for the chances uh, of happening this type of cancer. One thing I want to tell in this respect that um, the cancer will uh, cancer is a not a contagious disease. It cannot be transformed from person to person. Hmm, there is no possibility of that, and only the gene mutated gene can be transferred from uh, parents to offspring or baby and this is the reason but uh, baby will, uh, will inherit the um, gene only cancer gene not cancer this is the main thing and fourth one is the uh, carrying overweight carrying overweight it is the another cause of cancer if uh, some it is, it is also called overweight or uh, obese this is called so excessive weight is not um, desirable in this case so uh, it may be cause the cancer it may cause the cancer and fifth one is the alcohol use like tobacco use alcohol use is also potential cancer it will cause the cancer of stomach cancer, liver cancer and uh, lung cancer it can be uh, it can cause this type of cancer and sixth one is the viral infection I have previously also told that uh, the viral infection is the important factor by lysogenic cycle vi virus can in inject their DNA into the gene of the host so this will cause the mutation and several type of virus like, like human papilloma virus hepatitis virus hiv virus and the uh, epstein bar virus also responsible for this type of cancer so hepatitis uh, means the, which will cause the jaundice it is also a potent cause of cancer and seventh one is the risk factor um, exposure to chemicals exposure to chemicals we can be exposed to different chemicals by different way ways like that um, the, the, some chemicals like uh, mainly uh, radon uh, arsenic uranium radioactive element they are potent um, uh, carcinogen agent and another is the asbestos asbestos you know that it is a mineral with high uh, mineral with uh, tough fiber so uh, actually these are um, handle this can handle this asbestos can handle the uh, heat uh, um, electricity and corrosion that's why building material will be made of uh, generally uh, are generally made of asbestos but if we inhale the asbestos uh, constantly, uh, continuously, then there will be problem in the lungs. A rare cancer type of cancer, mesotheliomas, is happened in the, it is the lining of the chest and abdomen. The cancer happened in the lining of the chest and abdomen, it happened, but it is a rare case. But some lung, uh, larynx and ovary disease can be happened by this asbestos inhalation and uh, another thing is the uh, uh, formaldehyde one of the potential uh, so during work we should be careful about that we should not inhale formaldehyde which is very hazardous formaldehyde we know that and it is cancerous agent uh, carcinogen uh, carcinogen another thing is the sometimes in crops or any grains we found some of type of mycotoxin which is called aflatoxin B, aflatoxin B1, B2. And this aflatoxin is produced by some mold like Aspergillus flavus, Aspergillus parasiticus. They can produce this potent carcinogen mycotoxin. So we should be careful about that when we use this type of grains or um, feeds for the conjunction. What happened? It's sometimes produced in the feeds, this aflatoxin B1 and B2 uh, derivative. And it will be uh, the cow or buffalo will take the uh, feed 
and ultimately this aflatoxin B1 and B1 will be uh, converted into aflatoxin M1 by uh, it is uh, aflatoxin M1 is the hydroxylate derivative of metabolite of aflatoxin B1 and aflatoxin M1 is also potential uh, for cancer and uh, what happened uh, when we are uh, drinking the milk uh, generally we are consuming the aflatoxin M1 present in the milk uh, with the milk so uh, FDA food and drug administration of USA and FSSI food safety and standard authority of India has um, uh, limit the concentration of aflatoxin M1 in milk which is not more than 0 0.5 ppb means parts per billion which is the microgram per kg means microgram per kg so this should limit should not be crossed in uh, aflatoxin m1 in milk it is a very potent carcinogen another thing is the when we are taking crispy uh, brown food uh, like uh, some vegetables like potato when heated to high temperature what happened they actually give off some um, uh, uh, chemical like acrylamide this will be potent carcinogen and the engine exhaust and the pollution uh, also the cause of cancer frequently and uh, some, uh, some uh, processed meat is also the cause like bacon salami uh, pepperoni sausages are the potential source of carcinogens uh, so we should be careful we should limit the uh, um, uh, taking of this food uh, use of this food uh, as well as we limit the um, tobacco smoking and alcohol consumption also so these are the main risk factors of cancer we should be aware of that Now we come to the point the complication or symptoms of cancer. What are the generally complications or symptoms are found in cancer patient? How can you identify it? So complication of cancer disease. First one is the fatigue means tiredness. fatigue second one is the pain third one is the um, uh, uh, difficult breathing difficult breathing you all know the meaning of these points uh, fourth one is the diarrhea or constipation Fifth one is the nausea, means vomiting tendency. Sixth one is the weight loss. I uh, would like to say something about this weight loss. Actually, weight loss, why weight loss happened? Because the, there is an abnormal growth of cancer cell. This cancer cell will steal the food from the normal cells and th th these normal cells are deprived of nutrients so your actual weight is not gaining you are taking food but the weight is uh, the, the food is uh, almost all food will be taken by the um, cancer cells they will deprive the um, uh, normal cells so that's why your weight will be uh, reduced in this case and uh, this is the weight loss and seventh is the chemical changes some chemical changes due to cancer uh, one point is the cachexia one term is cachexia means the uh, liberation of toxin by the cancer cell is called cachexia and it will create the pain and some tumor will press the nerve uh, artery vein and uh, bone also so it will cause the pain the tumor cells 
and the chemical changes due to this chemical changes your chemical balance will be lost and it will cause some symptoms like uh, yeah, frequent urination thirst uh, and uh, constipation or uh, some uh, confusion like that and seventh one eighth one is the eighth one point is the uh, brain or nervous system failure brain and nervous system failure what will happen in this case in the, it will cause some symptoms like uh, uh, brain stroke headaches and it will ultimately cause the symptom like weakness on one side of your body and uh, uh, ninth one is the and the uh, uh, peculiar response peculiar response of immunito immune response peculiar immune response of your body to cancer it is what happened when the cancer will be happened in our body our immune system will be triggered and ultimately it will destroy the normal cells it will destroy the cancer cells some cancer cells also but cancer cells are very fast growing they will not die easily but the normal cells will be died very easily and this uh, thing is called para neoplastic syndrome and it will cause the uh, difficult walking sometimes cause, cause the symptom of difficult walking and seizures also and another thing is the cancer spread spread of cancer which i i have already discussed that the spread of cancer is called uh, spread of cancer throughout your body and uh, or uh, for you through our body it is called metastasis and uh, 10th one is the 11th one is the um, um, uh, cancer recurrence cancer recurrence what it is called actually this cancer survivors has the risk so i have the risk of cancer recurrence why it is happened because uh, during the treatment of the cancer we are generally using chemotherapy and can this chemotherapy will uh, like kill the cancer cells but it also kill the uh, it also can um, cause the mutation in the another uh, another cell so th there is a, always the possibility of cancer recurrence in case of cancer survivors so we should take proper follow up um, mechanism follow up plan for this uh, cancer people so today uh, it is enough for today i will discuss um, um, uh, another um, things in our next video so uh, goodbye